Uh, good evening, my YouTube viewers. Crystal here. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make another video for you. And this is uh, the food demand competition question with Analytics Vidhaya. And um, basically what I wanted to talk about is how I used the merge command to solve this competition question. So the first thing we'll do is we'll talk about the problem statement, except for before I do that, I'll say this um, program is on my GitHub account. So you can go into my GitHub account and look at the program if you like. And so we'll look at the problem statement that says, your client is a meal delivery company which operates in multiple cities. They have various fulfillment centers in these cities for dispatching meal orders to their customers. The client wants you to help these centers with demand forecasting for upcoming weeks so that these centers will plan the stock of raw materials accordingly. The replenishment a majority of raw materials is done on a weekly basis, and since the raw material is perishable, the procurement planning is of utmost importance. Secondly, staffing of the center is also one area where inaccurate demand forecasts are really helpful. Given the following information, the task is to predict the demand for the next 10 weeks, week 146 to 155, for the center meal combinations in the test set. Historical data for demand for a product center combination, weeks 141 to 145, product meal features such as category, current price, and discount information for fulfillment center like center area city information etc so that was your problem statement so we have to predict the number of meals for the final 10 week period so the first thing we want to do is we want to import our libraries and you can see that we have imported and then after that we import the data sets and so we've got train test sample submission fulfillment center info and food meal so we look at the train file so this is what you get on your train file and then we look on the test file so the train file and the test file are similar except the test file does have number orders that's what we have to predict so you've got your fulfillment and then you've got your meal so and you've got your sample sub as well so, so basically what we have to do is we have to merge the fulfillment and the meal with the train to make one large training data set that includes um this is but it, it does have num orders in there but it makes one large training data set and then we have to merge fulfillment and meal with the test data set as well to make one large data set and after we've done that, what we want to do is we want to do a test to see if we have any null characters on our train data set and our test data set, and we don't have any null characters that need to be imputed. So the next thing we do is we graphically represent this. So we do a SNS displot data underscore train num orders. And I think that there's a um, a message saying that this plot is deprecated and I think that I actually tried to do a DIS PLOT and I think it wouldn't accept it so I went ahead and used the dist plot even though it's been dead. and now what we do is we use the label encoder so the three uh, columns in the train file and the test file that are objects. We put those in the label encoder to make them numeric. 
And then the next thing we want to do is we want to graphically represent our independent variables. So we've made a heat map. So if you're any good at reading heat maps, you can see how the different variables interact with each other. So the base price, base price and the checkout price don't seem to have a very good correlation, but I already knew that from um, looking at this data set before. Now what we want to do is we want to define our X, Y, and X test. So your Y is your train num orders, your X is your train drop ID and num orders, axis equals 1, and X test equals test drop ID, axis equals 1. So the next thing we're going to do is so we're going to split our training set for training and testing. And so we have uh, X train, X val, Y train, Y val equals train test split. X, Y test size equals 0.1. Random state equals 1. And then we want to see how many rows we have on. We want to see the shape of X train, X val, Y train, Y val. Next thing we do is we put the uh, file on the scalar. So we fit the scalar on X train and then we transform the scalar on X train, X file, and X test. So now what we're going to do is what I did was I didn't just use this model. I used several models. I used hist gradient, boost regressor, MLP regressor, XGB regressor, and cat boost regressor. And then I used several models. And then what I did was I saw which model had the highest accuracy and the best score on the analytics Vidhaya website. And it was a close call between hist gradient boost regress regressor and xgb regressor uh, it was a real close call but X hist gradient boost regressor was just slightly better than xgb regressor i also tried to use ada uh, regressor ada boost regressor and it crashed the system so that's noteworthy. I mean, I just have a little Chromebook and it's not really cut out for big data. And a lot of these uh, questions that I'm doing have really large data sets. And because they have really dark, large data sets, I can't do all the work that I would like to do. So now we test on our X valve and you can see the answer that we get on the X valve. And now what we do is we make our predictions um, on this. And so we have our answer on the X test. We turn that into a data frame, and then we convert the data frame to a CSV file. And whenever I put this on the Analytics Vidhaya website, I got a score of 82.21. But the best score, let me see if I can find the score. Uh, the best score was 47, but I couldn't really get any better than that one. And obviously, you know, we need to work on the model. I need to work on my programming skills to improve the model. But that was the best score I was able to get. So that concludes it for this um, presentation. You're welcome to use my code because it's not winning code, but it will be on the leaderboard. And I do think that in a very